All right, beginning of day four. My three trusses showed up. I will have to do some more manufacturing, but they're here. <laughs> I wish they would have brought those three back. I got no room for them here. Oh well. So I'll just have to cut this off. Now, it's important, like I 
said before that the posts line up. So because I just cut that without measuring, we want to set this end, factory cut, to my red line. Oh boy. What am I hitting? Sand, a little concrete. Okay. So I'm running into concrete issues. You see there? I simply can't move that. So this guy's out of quarter and this guy's out of quarter. I think in good faith I'll keep this guy out of quarter. Now, what I never did show you is the importance part here. So the mud seal is on the outside here. This is actually where everything's built on. Then when you go past the mud seal, the concrete will actually dip down. So technically this part of the two by eight is floating. So I went around and I punched shims in all the way around. That's kind of important. Okay. I forgot this gun here last night.
Okay, so set up time lapse. Set it right on the mound of dirt there. And we'll finish sheeting this. This is why I hate plywood. It is so delicate. Maybe if I didn't use such a piece of crap 2x4. Dan! Okay, so, snap some lines here. Freddy did this side. This is a two by eight wall. This wall here on the back is two by six. Get flushed with the framing. Tack the two inch. Chalk line. Pull it tight. Absolutely beautiful out. It's perfect. It really is. I wish every day could be like this. Okay, just darkening this line up.
So I got word. The guys are going to come with the equipment and start backfilling here right away. So that's good news. All right, this wall is two by eight. It is a tall wall. It is engineered. In Southern Alberta, we do have to engineer all of our tall walls. Not just Southern Alberta, all of Alberta. Okay, instead of trying to find the edge of my framing, found my edge of my framing there. This is an eight, eight foot jog. Now I'm gonna go eight foot seven and a quarter and snap the line. Okay, so this will have to be trimmed. I'm gonna darken this up. Okay, so yeah, I'll go around the whole foundation. Seventeen and a quarter. Put this on ten, mark seventeen and a quarter. Remember, I told you my uh, tape was, I was frustrated with my tape. It actually had a crack in it. They split. So I bought a, bought a new tape. I've never had a DeWalt. I like it. It's got nice things to hook with here. However, it's a little fat. Well, no, it's not. It just doesn't slip into my pouch real good. Is that really a complaint? No. I like the tape. It works. Anyways, back to the matter at hand. Yeah, so I'll go around the whole foundation and then I'll come and I'll do the stairwell, lay it out. And then I will uh, come with my saw and cut it, all of it. All right, so we'll do this one uh, stairwell wall together. It's also an interior wall. It actually runs the whole length of the house here. It's also a bearing wall, and it is also a tall wall. So I never snap play my string line twice if I can. Sometimes the lines aren't always perfectly the same and I don't like that. So when I darken it up, I just shorten my string line. There's nothing worse than a vibrated chalk line. It really erodes the confidence. So 
technically when I cut this off, I should be on the edge of the stairwell. Alright, we'll get this here wall together. So, a 10 foot 10 from the inside to the inside. So inside, Ten foot ten. Ten foot ten inside to inside. One, two, three and a half. It is so easy when the wind doesn't blow, your tape actually stays out. Ten foot ten on the inside. One, two, three and a half. By the way, I love the DeWalt tape. And the only reason it doesn't slip into my pouch is because it's got grippies. And the grippies are meant to be just that. Grippy. Hence, it doesn't slip all the way in all the time. But it's awesome. Thanks to Walt. Well, there's a puppy. So somewhere here it jogs forward. So I need that number for this jog. And it is hidden. Uh, oh boy, where's the number? That's the size of the door. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! Here it is, it's way over here, two foot six. Bet you that number's supposed to be between two of these little ha hash? Are they hash marks? Okay, so we go out another from the back side of this. So outside to outside is two foot six. Okay. Outside to outside, one, two, three and a half. <clears throat> 
one sixty three and three quarters. Okay, we'll snap these two. Okay, so I gotta get all this cleaned up. So I got all the garbage out. Uh, all my leftover material is stacked there. And I thought I had the spot for the beams it was looking so promising. Turns out they have to dig a ramp here to get a screw pile guy in to put three screw piles here to carry a window well wall to control the grating, I guess. So exactly wrong spot. Turns out everything, and not everything, it has to go on the floor. So that's fun. So that's what I've been doing. Doesn't matter, it's a good day. Weather's perfect. So not much to complain about. It's just steps back and forth. Not a fan of moving those four pieces. Not looking forward to that, but hey. So that's that's what we're doing now. I'll turn this back off. That's an update. They were probably coming to backfill maybe later today. And tomorrow this will all be backfilled. Truth be told, tomorrow I'm going hiking. Okay, well, that's all I can do. So... Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Haha, <laughs> they're back drilling. So Friday this will be ready. Awesome. Dan out. Okay, so I was just on my way to the west side to see if there was any uh, small jobs for me to do. Basically, it would be finishing exterior posts because some of the concrete got poured. But I got a phone call. I will be starting this house and I will be leaving that south side house. So awesome. I got power. I got floor. I just got to order material. I'm going to get my plan in about two hours. I'll do a material takeoff and uh, I'll be starting here. Super excited. I was really curious how this is all going to work. Check to see if groundworks are in. Yep, groundworks are in. Oh, we're all ready to go. That must be theirs. Ha! Okay, perfect. <laughs>